human language itself is a pattern and patterns of patterns and it's an expression of patterns that are going on in your thought process. The challenge is being able to distill that down into something that is for your phone and personal. And that is exactly what SwiftKey is working on right now. Artificial neural networks, or neural nets for short, allow computers to operate a little bit like the way your brain operates. The elements of a neural net aren't exactly like a neuron, much less complicated, there's far fewer of them. But they allow computer systems a flexibility which the old classical type of computing didn't have. The sort of things that go on in nature are often, they're quite profound what goes on under the hood, the, the details of the, of the maths and the physics of, of what goes on. It's quite appropriate for the problem. And so given our, our brains are quite wired to do language and to do it well, there's a good reason to believe that if you build a system that is in some sense like the brain, it will be able to learn the same sorts of structures. So what that means for you is that you will be able to get better predictions and you will have to type a lot less. And the machine will be able to come towards you and be able to help you finish your sentences and finish your thoughts in a much more eloquent way. So the application for the first time of artificial neural networks to predictive keyboards is an important milestone. It'll make the use of the keyboard a much less frustrating and a much more productive process. Um, let's face it, that's what we all want.